सो बाय द फर्स्ट वन एरिया इज इक्वल टू फोर हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर सेकेंड वन एरिया ऑफ रेक्टेंगल इज इक्वल टू फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर एंड बाय द थर्ड वन एरिया ऑफ द रेक्टेंगल फॉर्म इज इक्वल टू टू ट्वेंटी फाइव सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर एन इक्वेशन ऑफ द फॉर्म ए एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो इज नोन एज क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन ए नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो ओके लीडिंग कोविजन शुड नॉट भी इक्वल टू जीरो बाय फैक्ट्राइजेशन फैक्ट्राइजिंग बाय स्प्रिटिंग नॉर्मल डेल्टम सेकेंड वन इज बाय क्वाड्रेटिक फॉर्मूला और बी कैन ऑल्सो से बाय श्री धाराचार्य फॉर्मूला ओके एंड द थर्ड वन इज बाय कंप्लीटिंग द स्क्वायर पैथ ऑन नाउ हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग चैप्टर क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन क्वाड्रेटिक मीन्स डिग्री टू सो मैक्सिमम पावर ऑफ द वेरिएबल इज इक्वल टू टू एंड इक्वेशन मीन्स इट होल्ड्स एन इक्वालिटी साइन नाउ टू अंडरस्टैंड द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ दिस आई एम टेकिंग वन एग्जाम्पल लेंथ ऑफ द रोप इज गिवन दैट इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर एंड वी हैव टू फॉर्म द रेक्टेंगल ऑफ मैक्सिमम एरिया दिस टास्क इज अलॉटेड टू थ्री पर्सन ओके so first one comes and form the rectangle with the dimensions 40 and 10 okay length is equal to 40 and breadth is equal to 10 second comes and form the rectangle with dimensions 35 and 15 35 cm and 15 cm then third one comes form the rectangle with dimensions 45 and 5 cm respectively okay now if we discuss about the area formed by all three of them area of the rectangle so by the first one Area is equal to 400 cm square. Second one, area of rectangle is equal to 525 cm square. And the by the third one, area of the rectangle formed is equal to 225 cm square. And if this task is allotted to some other people also, then we can calculate the area in the same manner. Okay, but what will be the appropriate approach by which we can calculate? So let's see, student. Let's suppose this is equal to x and This one is equal to fifty minus x. Again, dimension is x and fifty minus x, but length of the rope is fixed. That is equal to hundred only. If in this case I want to calculate the area, then that will be equal to x into fifty minus x. That is equal to minus x square plus fifty x. So quadratic expression is formed here. Okay, and by the different different concepts which we are going to learn in this chapter, we can calculate. the value at which value of x at which we can get or and obtain or form the rectangle of maximum area so these basic concepts are we are going to learn in this chapter so starting with quadratic equation an equation of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 is known as quadratic equation a not equal to 0 okay leading coefficient should not be equal to c A is the leading coefficient, B is the coefficient of x, and C is known as the constant term, or we can say absolute term. Now, types of quadratic equation. We have different different types of quadratic equation. If B is equal to zero, then we get the quadratic equation as a x square plus c is equal to zero. This is known as pure quadratic equation. Now, if B not equal to zero but c is equal to zero, then we get the quadratic equation as a x square plus b x is equal to zero. If both b and c is equal to zero, then the quadratic equation we obtain is equal to a x square is equal to zero. Now the fourth one, if both b and c not equal to zero, then the quadratic equation is a x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero. This is known as mixed or complete quadratic equation. Now moving to solution, solution of quadratic equation. Those values of x at which a x square plus b x plus c vanishes. Or becomes equal to zero. Okay, those values are known as the roots. They are known as the roots of the quadratic equation. Okay, and these are the solutions. Okay, now moving further, general form. What is the general form? General form is a x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero, where a is not equal to zero. Now different different methods are there to which are used to solve the quadratic equation, and those methods are first one is By factorization, factorizing by splitting the middle term. Second one is by quadratic formula, or we can also say by Sri Dharacharya's formula. Okay, and the third one is by completing the square path. Now let's discuss some previous year's Olympiad questions based on this. So starting with the first question, which one of the following is not a quadratic equation? So 
first one. Let's see. 3 x square minus 2x plus 1. This is equal to x square minus x. Means we can write 3x square minus x square minus 6x plus x plus 3 is equal to 0. So this is 2x square minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0. This is the quadratic equation. It means the option is not the correct one. Now, second one, x square plus 2x whole square means x raised to the power 4 plus 4x cube plus 4x square. This is equal to x raised to the power 4 plus 4x cube plus 3. x raised to the power 4 plus 4x cube. This is common both the sides. So, so this will get cancelled out. We can write this is equal to 4x square minus 3 is equal to 0. This is also the quadratic equation. It means second option is also not the correct one. Now the third one, 3x minus x square. 3x minus x square. This is equal to x square plus 2. From this we get 2x square minus 3x plus 3 is equal to 0. Again, the quadratic equation. Now, root 3x plus root 2 whole square. So, root 3x plus root 2 whole square plus x square. This is equal to 4x square minus 6x. So, we can write 3x square plus 2 plus 2 root 6x plus x square. This is equal to 4x square minus 6x. Now, 3x square plus x square, this is equal to 4x square. On the right hand side also we have 4x square, so this will get cancelled out. Remaining part is 2 root 6x plus 6x and the constant term is plus 2. So, we can further write root 6 plus 3, taking 2 common, okay, or dividing the whole by 2, we get plus 1 and this is a linear equation not the quadratic equation it means the option is the correct one now moving to the next one find the value of a such that y is equal to 2 is a root of the equation of this given equation since y is equal to 2 is a root it means 2 will satisfy this given equation so we can write a multiplied by 2 square plus 2a multiplied by 2 minus 3 this is equal to 0 which means 4a plus 4a minus 3 is equal to 0 means 8a is equal to 3 or we can say that value of a is equal to 3 by 8 means b option is the correct one now moving to the next one a quadratic equation alpha x square plus 5x plus beta is equal to 0 has two roots x is equal to 1 by 3 and x is equal to minus 3 find the respective values of alpha and beta. Since 1 by 3 and minus 2 are the roots, this means these two values will satisfy this given equation. So, putting x is equal to 1 by 3. This means we can write alpha multiplied by 1 by 3 whole square plus 5 multiplied by 1 by 3 plus beta. This is equal to 0. Means alpha by 9 plus 5 by 3 plus beta. This is equal to 0. Taking LCM, we get alpha plus 15 plus 9 beta whole divided by 9. This is equal to 0. Overall, this is equal to 0 means numerator is equal to 0. So, we can write alpha plus 9 beta value of this is equal to minus 15 marking it as first equation now putting x is equal to minus 2 putting x is equal to minus 2 this means alpha multiplied by minus 2 square plus 5 multiplied by minus 2 plus beta this should be equal to 0 means 4 alpha 
plus beta value of this is equal to 10 marking it as second equation now first one alpha plus 9 beta alpha plus 9 beta this is equal to minus 15 I am multiplying this by the constant 4 so we get 4 alpha plus 36 beta is equal to minus 60 and second equation we have 4 alpha plus beta 4 alpha plus beta this is equal to 10 now I am subtracting second from this one so we get 4 alpha this will get eliminated remaining part is 35 beta and is equal to minus 70 means value of beta is equal to minus 2 putting beta is equal to minus 2 in this one in equation 1 putting value of beta in equation 1 so alpha plus 9 beta this is equal to minus 15 means alpha is equal to minus 15 plus 18 means 3 so alpha is equal to 3 and value of beta is equal to minus 2 means d option is the correct one okay now moving to the next one find the value of a and b if y is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3 are the roots of the given equation this means 2 and 3 will satisfy this given equation now putting y is equal to 2 we get 4 multiplied by 2 square minus 3a multiplied by 2 plus 2b this is equal to 0 this means 16 minus 6a plus 2b is equal to 0 dividing complete equation by 2 we get 8 minus 3a plus b this is equal to 0 means 3a minus b value of this is equal to 8 marking it as equation 1 now putting y is equal to 3 in the equation y is equal to 3 this means 4 multiplied by 3 square minus 3a multiplied by 3 plus 2b this is equal to 0 this means 9 fours are 36 minus 9a plus 2b this is equal to 0 so we can write 9a minus 2b 9a minus 2b this is equal to 36 this is the second equation now the first one 3a minus b is equal to 8 i am multiplying this by 2 multiplying equation by equation 1 by constant 2 okay constant with a constant not equation second so we have 3a minus b is equal to 8 so we get 6a minus 2b is equal to 16 second equation we have 9a minus 2b 9a minus 2b this is equal to 36 now on subtracting minus 2b plus 2b this will get cancelled out remaining part is minus 3a and this is equal to minus 20 it means value of a is equal to 20 by 3 putting value of a putting a is equal to 20 by 3 in equation 1 so we get 3 multiplied by 20 by 3 minus b this is equal to 8 means 
b is equal to 20 minus 8 which is equal to 12 so value of p is equal to 12 value of a is equal to 20 by 3 and value of b is equal to 12 it means a option is the correct one okay